I just like the way everybody's been working hard in the weight room and then trying to get after it on the field and just the collective teamwork everybody's been putting in. When you take a look at last year, it seemed like you guys improved week to week and were playing your, your best football towards the end of the season. How do you carry that momentum over and what are some of the, the specific things that you take from last season you can apply? Uh, well, you know, we lost a lot of talent last season and the older guys, so we just hope that the young guys step it up and learn their jobs and get better at what they can do. Uh, let's start offensively. What have you seen from this offense that you really like thus far? Uh, I just, I like the way everybody, they play fast, they play as fast as possible, no matter what they're doing. They just do it to the best of their ability. Okay, tell me about the defensive side of the football. What, what stands out to you about this defense? Uh, because it'll be counted on, you know, defense wins championships because you got to have to be good at on Friday night. Uh, physical football, you hit them as hard as you can, as fast as you can. That's about all I got to say about that. Uh, what are some of the specific things, position groups that you like about this defense? Guys coming back, who are some of the guys that are going to be playing, you know, bigger roles for Turbuska this season defensively? Oh, we got we got our outside linebackers. They're both pretty great. They they always have a pretty tough practice. And we got both the ILBs, most of our defensive backs, and then pretty fresh young D line. But they're they're working on it and getting better. That we have a very young team right now, and all the young kids are learning to step up and play uh, just learn their roles and like if you're a scout teamer you know what you need to do go hard every day to get uh, the starters and the uh, just the varsity people ready for the friday when you take a look at this offense um coach was saying you do have to replace a lot of offensive linemen but you know you have come back you started i think every game last year as a sophomore at qb and yourself almost 1700 yards so how much do you put on your guys shoulders as the offensive skill position players in the offensive backfield to lead this offense uh, we put a lot on our shoulders just to give it since we can help our young offensive line with our experience telling them like if we're down hey it's okay we can pick our heads up and everything will be fine we just, we just got to work through this. Who are some of the young guys offensively that are going to be stepping into bigger roles on Friday nights for you guys? Uh, Joey Emmenheiser at halfback and then uh, Sam Wood at the other halfback, uh, Dusty Barkley at center and tackle. Reese Wicker at guard, uh, Tanner Allen at guard. There's a lot more. I just not coming to my head right now, but there's a. That's good. Uh, final question for me: What's the one key you think for Cherubusky this season? What are the, what, what's the big thing you guys need to do well to have a successful year? Uh, do the little things correct. Uh, every day at practice, we have to we have to give 100 percent. Where we just yeah, it's just the little things we have to work on. Definitely our defense. I mean, we're we're returning a lot of people, and uh, I think our defense is definitely going to be a strong point. It excites me. Hopefully, we have a great season. As far as uh, defensively, what is it that makes this defense good? Um, a lot of returning people, maybe not starters, but definitely like experience and just hopefully we uh, tell me play about, well. Yeah, tell me about this offense because uh, new guys in the trenches. But skill position guys back like Tom and yeah. Garrett. So how do, how do the skill position guys uh, look to lead this offense, and what are the keys to being successful offensively on Friday night? Um, they definitely lead us with a lot of experience, and our keys is basically follow them. We have a lot of new people at the lineman position, obviously, but I think they learned well from last year's kids, so hopefully they show it on the field. Yeah, final question for me. In your opinion, what is what are the biggest keys to having success here in 2017 for Chair Busco? I think our biggest key is definitely our defense because you know, even though we are returning a lot of people, we, we do need to have a great defensive year to help our offense. Pretty happy with the way uh, the young guys have stepped up, and, and, and we've had a pretty good preseason. We had a great summer. Um, that doesn't mean that we've gotten everything figured out yet, but we feel like our young guys have stepped up and, and are, are uh, starting to assume some of those roles that we need them to and uh, have been battling for positions and, and trying to learn different positions and helping their team out any way they can. So overall, we've been pretty happy with the effort uh, and the attitude of the kids. Uh, really proud of the, the, the work ethic they brought. Um, like I said, we're still trying to figure out a couple key positions, and um, we may not have that figured out for a while, but uh, we're, we're happy with the progress we've made so far. It seemed like at the just it felt like at the end of the season last year you guys were playing your best football uh, and improved you know week to week. 
Um, how do you carry that over, and what are some of the keys to carrying over what you guys learned from last season to 2017? Well, one of the things is you know we, we graduated some some serious talent, particularly on the offensive and defensive lines and the linebacking core. I think uh, you know last year we were not afraid to make changes throughout the season to get us playing our best football by the playoffs, and um, this year it'll be much the same. You know, if, if we feel like we can make a change in the middle of the year that's going to help our team for the playoffs, we're willing to do that. And I think our kids are. Are, have shown that they're willing to make those changes. We put some kids in positions last year that they hadn't really been in, but we really felt like it was necessary for us to have some success. And um, so I think that that precedent's been set, and I think that our kids will respond well to that if we need to do that. Offensively, I know you said you graduated a lot of guys on the line, but how much? Um how much easier do you sleep knowing you've got a quarterback who started an entire season back after you know he started his sophomore season, mm -hmm. and a guy who rushed for almost 1,700 yards back there in the offensive backfield as well? Well, that certainly gives you some confidence, um, and and really I think it gives those young guys confidence knowing that they're playing with with Tom and, and Garrett back there. Um, you know, the thing about Tom is he's worked extremely hard. Garrett's worked extremely hard in the off season. Um, you know, so so those young guys can look at them and realize not only have they been there before, but they've been working for years in the winter and, and going to camps and things like that to, to be as good as they can be. Uh, so it sends a good message to those young guys that are playing around them and in front of them. And I, I think um, from a coaching perspective, when you're calling plays and things like that, you know that they've been there before. So it makes it a little bit, you have a little more confidence in it. A final question for me, what is the key to having a more successful season than you did even last year? Well, I think we we, uh, we went in there. We were excited to be in that situation uh, against South Adams. Um, we hadn't been to a conference, or excuse me, a sectional championship in a long time. And um, I think there was a little bit of uh, shock and all that uh, they beat in Woodland. And what does that mean? And, you know, there's that line of thought, well, we, oh, we don't have to play Woodland. That's good. And then there's, well, how good South Adams because uh, they beat Woodland. So I think we went in there a little bit. We probably weren't as prepared as we could have been. We probably weren't as focused on just playing South Adams the way they played, and they had a great football team and made a great run and played better than we did. Um, you hope that the more times you're in those situations, it gives your kids more experiences, and, and those experiences become something that they're comfortable with. When If we get back there, if we're fortunate enough to play, be in that situation again, well, you hope last year means something, and that experience that they had maybe will carry us through to the next round.